Hello there. We are now going to start studying combined inequalities. Now, in the past, you have graphed and solved, actually the other way around, solved and graphed, one inequality at a time. Now we're combining them. And we're including a new object, the word and. We're going to be operating on the number line. You're familiar with that. All of the numbers in the real number system can be placed in order on the number line. Generally, we put zero in the middle, the positive numbers to the right, and the negative numbers to the left. So here are the inequalities. x plus 8 is greater than or equal to zero, and the word and is very important. x plus 6 is less than or equal to 9. All right, we're going to solve each of these inequalities pretty much like we would solve an equation. And you're going to end up with x is greater than or equal to negative 8. Now we're going to graph this. Come on out to negative 8 on the number line. Put a bracket through negative 8. And then an arrow going off to the right forever, because that's precisely what the solution says. x can be any number to the right of or greater than negative 8. Now we solve the other inequality, subtract 6 from both sides, and you'll get x is less than or equal to 3. Come on out to positive 3, drawing the scale, there's 3. Put a bracket through 3 and an arrow that goes to the left forever, because that's what the solution to the, the pink um, inequality says. x is to the left of negative 3. Now look at where the two colors overlap. That is the solution, because the word and means we're looking for the overlap. So x can be any number between negative 8 and positive 3, including negative 8 and including positive 3, which is what the brackets say. And the interval notation looks pretty much like that. Talk to you later.